Delaware County is turning to alternative measures to help families say goodbye to their loved ones during this pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holden takes us to a drive through funeral service in Garnet Valley. He was a really great guy. When it came time to say goodbye, the viewing for Herbert Michael Nathan went off as planned. That is with some major adjustments. <laughs> he probably would have thought it was a little comical um, and he probably would have been OK with it. Funeral directors have been left to interpret new regulations in light of the pandemic. Peter Pagano offered the Nathan family of Newark a drive by wake on Tuesday morning. A service at the Garnet Valley Funeral Parlor followed shortly after. It was streamed on the funeral home website. This has given families closure that has been taken away from them during this difficult time of COVID-19. Mr. Nathan or Mike, as friends knew him, died on Friday at 85. He did not have the coronavirus. Funeral directors in Pennsylvania say they've been closely adhering to CDC and state health department guidelines. Stay at home orders have temporarily transformed the industry. The Pagano Funeral Home sees this drive through approach a common sense compromise. The flowers will be out there and folks will be able to come up and pay their respects with a 12 foot distance between the car as well as the family. There's a 12 foot gap there to keep everybody safe and everybody will be wearing masks. Industry wide at this time, we're told cremations have increased, but Peter Pagano says some of his clients still want a traditional service and he's willing to do everything in his power to make that possible. In Delaware County, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.